No, no, no. Hello, hello. So, how are we doing this? You're bringing the energy. I'm bringing the spontaneity. I'm about to give you 90% of the work. <laughs> Hey, how you doing? How's your day going so far? Good, good. You're delivering mail to St. John's Seminary? Yep, every day. All right, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> In a tour, scratch that, sorry. Hello, I'm Michael. And I'm Paul. And we are seminarians for the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. Today, we're gonna give you a tour of our beautiful campus here at St. John's Seminary. So come on in. most important place on campus, the chapel. This is our beautiful chapel. This is where we gather several times a day for our liturgies. Um, we begin at 6.45 a.m. with morning prayer, followed immediately by mass. And then we gather each evening with a holy hour in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament, and we conclude with evening prayer. Right away, one thing you might notice about our chapel, as opposed to your local parish, is the choir seating. So why, some of you might ask, do we have choir seating here at the seminary? Choir seating is arranged in such a way that we're able to pray the Liturgy of the Hours antiphonally. That is, we recite the psalms between each side's alternate. This beautiful chapel is one of many chapels on campus. As Paul mentioned, this is where we first start our day in the morning with morning prayer followed by mass. And then throughout the day, you'll find seminarians praying here, especially during our holy hour from five to six. The stained glass window at the back of the chapel is a great reminder for all of us that we're not called to remain at the seminary, but also to go out into the world to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. Now that we've gone through the chapel, let's now go into the refectory to show you where the community gathers for meals. Today we have smoked salmon on pita bread, chicken quesadilla, baked yams, steamed veggies, some surprises over here will surely arrive. We have soup, and then on the other side we have a complete salad bar. And there's another one of our seminarians over there, Carlos. He tends to like the salad bar and the ravens. This is Gary, he works very hard for us seminarians here, helping prepare the food, serving us. And uh, Gary, what do you think of the seminarians here on campus that come for lunch and all the different meals? They're great, they eat everything up we got. <laughs> Sounds good, thanks Gary. Okay. We're often asked, what is the seminary? Is it like college? In a way, we do have classes, and this is where we learn about philosophy initially, and then theology. Hey Johnson, do you have a second? Are you filming? Here's one of our prized seminarians at St. John's, Johnson Bowie, Theology 3. What diocese are you from, Johnson? The Great Diocese of Orange. We have seminarians from all sorts of dioceses here, not only Los Angeles, but Orange, El Paso, Fresno, Vegas. Rumor has it it's midterm week, is that true? Sadly it is. How are you faring? Uh, I am, you know, skipping by. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> yeah, we, we got Pepe, we got some Pepe too. Pepe, you want to get on camera real quick? That's even better. And here we are with Pepe, Theology 1. He just entered the theology program. How are you liking theology so far, Pepe? It's good and it's great. I'm, I'm loving studying about the faith and about the church. It's super fascinating. And have you had any midterms yet this week? Uh, this week I have one on Thursday and I had one last year, last week. So. Are you ready for it? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> He's got time. He's got time. So this is St. Joseph's dorm. This is one of three dorms that we have here on campus. Um, rooms tend to be pretty simple here. It consists of a bed, a dresser, a desk, and our own restroom. And here we have our average dorm room of a seminarian. This one, as you can see, is set up for a guest room. Our seminarians are modest and humble, uh, but this is your average seminarian dorm room, equipped with a uh, own private bathroom. And now we are here down at the grotto at St. John's. For point of reference, the campus is back up that way where the classrooms and the chapel are. But this is our grotto where we like to come from time to time to say the rosary, to honor the Blessed Mother, definitely on her feast days. Uh, as you could tell, this grotto is very much inspired and a replica of the famous grotto in Lourdes, France. Uh, but this is just a nice place, sometimes underutilized. But uh, when seminarians come down here for either spiritual direction or times of prayer, it's always uh, time well spent. 
And now we are down at the sports field here at St. John's Seminary. Uh, the sports that the seminarians like to play are soccer and ultimate frisbee. So there will actually be a game of soccer down here, God willing, in a few hours. Uh, Tuesdays tend to be the day. It's a great way to stay fit, uh, stay healthy, and to just increase the fraternity amongst the seminarians here. And, uh, you know, it's good to get those competitive juices going and to just uh, play a little sport. Well, today it's Tuesday and at 3 p.m. we come down to the soccer field to play soccer. Uh, a bunch of us, around like 12 of us, come to, to just have, relax and enjoy the time. Um, yeah, uh, we have, we play for about like, like an hour and um, yeah, uh, we have two teams of six people, uh, seven, seven and yeah, we just have a lot of fun. This is our fitness facility. We are blessed to have a pool. Uh, sometimes it's heated, but most of the time it's not. But luckily we're in California and the weather's good. So a lot of the guys like to take advantage of swimming some laps in the pool and using our gym. So uh, come follow me into the gym. And this is our gym, a real nice facility. A lot of the equipment is new. It has everything you might need. Squat rack, bench press, dumbbells. We have some cardio machines over here. We have dips and pull-ups. Uh, it's not one of those small hotel gyms where you have to get creative and try to do four or five variations of push-ups. Uh, it's a really good time in here, usually not too busy. Uh, and just like we have liturgy together and we pray together, um, so do we like to pray individually. I might say the same for exercise. We have our times where we could play soccer and frisbee together, but if you really want to stay fit, my advice is find yourself in the gym a couple times a week by yourself, go for a jog, and we have that opportunity at St. John's here. So this is one of two libraries that we have here on campus. This is our theology library. And a little bit up the hill, we have the philosophy library. This is typically the library that most of the seminarians go to to print or to study a little bit and also to borrow some books. So this is our library. Um, there's three floors. There's the basement, this floor, and then the second floor. Here, when you walk in, uh, you'll see a lot of our reference books. So typically, these are our liturgy books. And then on this side, we have our biblical commentaries. And then over here, this is our printing station, so where most of the students will rush over in the morning to print their papers and their homework assignments. And then we have a bunch of different study desks over here. I think there's a seminarian here studying in the wild. Timothy Rodriguez, welcome. What are you studying right now? Working on our midterm for Pauline literature. Very good. There's an impending midterm that we have tomorrow, and so a lot of us are hard at work at studying, and then the, the other ones of us are roaming around campus, showing people around. All right, Timmy, it was good to see you. Good luck on the midterm tomorrow, and good luck to me too. Good luck to you too. So this is our propedeutic center. It's also our philosophy library, and this is typically the place where seminarians will first begin their seminary formation before entering philosophy. Fittingly, we'd like to conclude our tour in front of the St. John statue here. Thank you for spending some time with us. Rest assured you're all in our prayers and we kindly ask you to pray for us.